the way that Tanner Fox talks about handling his anxiety is a lot better than some of the mature Christians I know on how they handle their anxiety. <laughs> to be warned, this video might trigger you. <laughs> the biggest thing that stemmed from that conversation for me on that plane was I was completely new to the idea of Jesus in a way. And you told me that story and it really resonated with my heart because at the time I was really struggling with smoking a lot of weed. And for some reason that weekend I had not smoked weed. And normally every flight I ever went on, I was intoxicated and I wasn't that time. And mm. I remember you told me, look bro, if there's anything, like after that story you said, if there's anything to take away from this is if you feel any certain type of way this week, I was dealing with anxiety bad at that time. Like I didn't even know how to begin to deal with it. Like that's, I was deep in that, in that mud. And I remember you said, just say Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. If you're feeling, and, and I wanted to say this because like, I took everything with a grain of salt that he said because I was very much like, yeah, all right, I'm going to hear him out because I'm not, I'm not intoxicated right now. We're stuck on a plane. We're sitting next to each other. I'm going to hear him out. I'm going to give my full attention. And at the end of it, before we got off the plane, I wasn't like supposed to be hanging out with you or anything, which we did hang out a lot, a lot that trip. Yeah, we, that was the beginning of a very beautiful relationship. It really was. And then I remember you said, look, 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 Tanner, just next time you have anxiety, because I was telling you what I was struggling with. I was being real honest with you too. Yeah. And, I, and then you said, just say Jesus' name when you feel that way. And I remember I was, I was not so great people that weekend. That's who I was going to meet up with. Everyone had their little social clicks. Mm. And I remember I was, in that, I was in this house with these people and I, I started getting anxiety attack. And this is at the point where I didn't even know how to begin to control it, which following this stuff has really helped me even understand that how to place it elsewhere and not focus so much on my own issues. Ooh. And I remember I was sitting in this bathroom. I, I was just sitting on the toilet because I was trying to escape these people. And I was just like trying to get a free thought moment. I remember I said, I remember I, I prayed to Jesus. Maybe it was for three seconds, but I remember the weight lifted off of me. And then I'm pretty sure we started chilling a lot more that weekend after that. And that's when I first like was able to open my heart in a sense and like have any sort of like direction in that area when I really needed it. And I, I wasn't able to put my faith really anywhere else. I felt like I was at a dead end there. And sometimes you still do in the future, but I, I just wanted to add that because Amen, that's what Come on. I know a lot of Christians that because they're feeling a certain way, they kind of bottle all that stuff that's up inside of them. They're all because they're feeling anxious. It's a sin. And oh my goodness, this is. Read this. Read some Psalms, bro. You'll see. Read some Psalms. You'll see David start complaining before God. He's letting out his stuff. Some of you hold your anxiety in. Boy, you got to let it out. Look at this psalm. So this psalmist is like, Lord, you are the God who saves me. And David, I cry to you. May you come before I am overwhelmed with troubles. My life trust neither to death. I am counted among those who go down to the pit. I am like the one without strength. I'm set apart from the dead. Look, he, you have put me in the lowest pit. Oh, he's just being honest with God. Some of you need to be honest with God right now. Some of you are being distracted by going on YouTube right now, thinking that I'm going to distract you. But all you need to do is get off YouTube and just be honest with your Lord and Savior. <laughs> The beautiful thing that we have when we come, when we have anxious thoughts, is that we have a king, and we have a, more importantly, a father that's near. I love when, when Paul is writing to the church of Philippians. He's like, yo, listen, right here, the Lord's near. So whatever, whatever you got going on, you don't have to be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and pet, petiti petition, when every situation, by prayer and pet petition... <laughs> I can't, I can't speak today. With thanksgiving, present your requests to God. So you got to, some of us try to stuff it. So a thought pops up and you're just trying to stuff it down. You're trying to put that freaking ping pong ball to the bottom of the bucket. The problem is, it's just going to rise back up. And so instead of not dealing with it and trying to just keep or ignoring the, the ping pong ball, let it out. Just let it arise. Make your request be known to God. And with Thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God. You want some peace? You got to let your request. You got to pray. And I, I and he's like, oh, just, just pray. And then you get peace. But here's the deal. Prayer is not just like asking for things. Prayer in the biblical, in the biblical sense is just communing with your father. It's spending time with it. It's talking. It's letting things out. So, yeah, in one sense, it depends what your definition of prayer is. For sure, and, and with other things as well, and we'll get to the other things, but prayer is that gateway. It's the gateway drug, baby. We'll guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And so what do you got to do, brothers and sisters? Whatever's true, not whatever's false, whatever's noble, whatever's not like dishonoring or not good, whatever's right, not what's wrong, whatever's pure, what's not unpure, whatever's lovely, not what's <laughs> hating, <laughs> Whatever is admirable, if anything is with excellence and praiseworthy, think about such things. And whatever you've learned and received and heard from me, 
put into practice. And peace is going to take some practice. And what Tanner Fox was doing, he was letting his request, he was letting it out. He was talking to God about it. And that's what you need to do. And one of the main reasons why you're anxious is because you're not subscribed to my channel.